If you have been wanting more DLC vehicles to release in GTA Online, well, this may not be the best of news for you. We do have some new player rewards and gifts that are available as part of the latest GTA Online update this week, like we get just about every month now, but this time around, Rockstar has done something really interesting with the free vehicles that are a claimable reward, which I think completely is going to shatter any sort of expectations that we should have about future DLC vehicles releasing, so we're going to be discussing and reviewing all of this and more today, so let's get started. If if you enjoyed this video at any point or if you just find it helpful let me know by dropping a like on it and if you want to stay up to date with everything gta online and rockstar games then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on so let's dive into all of the latest gifts rewards and benefits offered in gta online for this month Rockstar states that through early March, players can take advantage of the following rewards with Rockstar's premium subscription plan. According to the Newswire, we have the Ocelot Juggler that is going to be a claimable vehicle this month. This is a sports car in the game that's known for its sophistication and versatility here, and it's also a notable departure from Rockstar's typical strategy of releasing new DLC vehicles as part of the monthly GTA Plus reward. The Ocelot Juggler, which is a four-door sports sedan, originally debuted in the 1.48 Diamond Casino and Resort update that released back in October 10th, 2019. That's the week the vehicle came out, so this does represent an older addition to the game's extensive vehicle roster here, but despite its age, the Jugular does remain a nice desirable car for its performance and design here, and may appeal to players who may have missed it initially, or just newer players out there looking to expand their collections without in-game expenditure. Now, the decision to include an older DLC vehicle like the Ocelot Jugular, rather than a new release, does suggest a shift here in Rockstar's approach to GTA Plus rewards. This move also raises questions here, especially in the context of the anticipated Galavanter Baller STD vehicle, which players expected might be included as a free GTA Plus offering for this month. The uncertainty about whether both vehicles could be offered for free or the strategy behind selecting which vehicles are included in this month's subscription does add an element of unpredictability to the game's content release schedule. And also, this is further compounded by the sporadic nature of DLC vehicle releases in general. Traditionally, players could somewhat anticipate the release schedule of new vehicles because we used to get them basically every single week until the content ran out and then we had a drought until the next update that would come biannually. But then, with the new system, we started to get one a month with GTA Plus and other game updates. However, the inclusion of this jugular vehicle and the pending release of four other DLC vehicles as part of the drip feed for the Chop Shop update, it seems like Rockstar may be deviating from another predictable release pattern, which kind of sucks for us. But overall, when it comes to the Vinewood Car Club Garage as well, this month we have that jugular, we have the classy Scramjet, the Pegasi Toreador, the Bravado Buffalo STX, the Fathom FR36, the Bravado Dorado, the Coil Cyclone 2, the Panola Carus, the Fister Comet SR, and the Ubermacht Revolter. And I think, what, three or four of these were featured last month? They need to get some different vehicles here. Moving on here, additionally, there's an offer of 40% off discount here purchasing a casino penthouse. The penthouse unlocks new story missions for you, and they offer various luxury amenities that arguably can enhance the player's experience here. This discount makes it a little bit more accessible for players to acquire a piece of high-end real estate in GTA Online, providing them not only with one of the more luxurious in-game living spaces, but also with additional gameplay opportunities and benefits, such as the ability to host private gambling sessions or access VIP lounges. Now, also for members during the Lunar New Year period, Rockstar is doubling down on the thematic promise of fortune, prosperity, and wealth with some casino bonuses as well. Members will have the opportunity to earn double the GTA money and RP on both casino story missions as well as casino work missions. Now, this incentive not only encourages players to engage more with the offerings here, but they can sort of enhance the rewards for participating in these activities, making it a more opportune time for players to increase their money in RP, but is it really that effective? At most, you'll probably be making forty dollars to $45,000 after about 10 to 12 minutes on some of these casino story missions, so they're not that great. For a player that uses GTA Plus to get in-game bonuses, they can maybe earn some money easier in-game through these, but it's certainly not an effective way to make money, and it's not worth it overall in my opinion, because you need to purchase a casino penthouse to obtain the mission access. The one good use of a penthouse and playing the casino missions, besides just chilling and having fun and playing something different, even if it isn't a meta way 
of making money in the game is because when you complete the casino storyline, you do get access to a free Enus Paragon R that's weaponized and armored. It's not as armored as Amani Tech vehicles, but something probably more comparable to the armored Gallivanter Baller or the armored Karuma or something to that extent. So it could be worth it for that. For those looking to spruce up their vehicles as well, we have some new paint options available for a limited time. You can visit any LS Customs, Auto Shop, or Vehicle Workshop and claim the eye-catching soft pink pearl chameleon paint for your eligible vehicle. Additionally here, if you want a more coordinated and slick look, you also have the opportunity to combine that paint with the pink prismatic chameleon wheel paint as well. So these options could provide a unique and a fresh appearance for your vehicles if you want them. Of course, they're just cosmetic, but if you want to spruce up your car, then have fun with that. In addition to that, Rockstar is also celebrating the Lunar New Year and Valentine's Day themes with special free clothing and items and accessories for those members, embracing the festive spirit, and also providing you with a unique way to customize your character's in-game appearance. So, not only do you get the Valentine's Day apparel, with this you get the Heartbreakers jacket and cap, but you also get some Lunar New Year clothing like the Lunar New Year shirt and pants available in both black and red. Now these items allow you to celebrate the Year of the Dragon, which is going to be one of the most powerful symbols in the Chinese Zodiac, known for its significance of luck, power, and strength. And then the black and red color scheme not only adheres to the traditional colors associated with Lunar New Year, but they also offer some versatility in player outfits, so if you don't like one color, you can go for the other. And then in addition to everything we just discussed, we also have these standard and typical offers that players can get every month as well, $500,000 GTA Online bonus. In addition to that, besides it getting deposited directly into your Maze Bank account, you'll also have access to an array of consistent benefits like the complement the reuse of the downtown taxi company services, quick travel through the skip to destination feature, exclusive gun van discounts, free VIP and CEO vehicle requests, as well as special GTA Plus shark cards with a bonus of 15% in money if you were to buy shark cards. So with all that being said, what are my thoughts on this month's benefits for GTA Plus? Well, well, these benefits honestly disappoint me for several reasons. The bonuses, including the double money and RP on certain missions, don't significantly boost your income, so it makes the subscription cost hard to justify. The choice of the nearly 4.5 year old Ocelot Jugular as the free vehicle this month also lacks the excitement of having a new DLC vehicle featured here. And then the perceived devaluation contrasts sharply with expectations for a premium service here, which should offer higher value, exclusive rewards that also enhance the gameplay experience beyond what's available without a subscription so in essence current gta plus offerings definitely fall short of making the subscription feel like a worthwhile investment this month for players nevertheless though i want to make sure my supporters are informed with all of the best info personally even if i had gta plus on pc i wouldn't be paying for it however i do acknowledge that there are still numerous players out there including a lot who consistently watch my channel who are active members and they seek the best reviews to determine whether the offerings are actually worth maintaining their subscription or not you know some people sign up cancel immediately just to get one month without committing to a monthly renewal regardless of the reward quality so you could check that out but if you are planning on becoming a member always worth watching these videos and i would recommend you watch these videos first before you actually purchase it just in case the rewards like this month aren't that good and you don't waste your money so with all that being said that's all we have time for today i'd love to know what you think about this month's gta plus rewards and items in the comments below have you tried out the subscription before and if you're a paying member is this month worth it to you i'd love to hear back from you hopefully you all enjoyed the video here today and if you did hopefully i earned your like on it and of course if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best gta online red dead online and rockstar games content then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel we consistently talk about updates news information tips tricks and even leaks and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to follow me over on twitch twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube and you're more than welcome to ask me questions on those platforms you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below with all that being said thank you all so much for watching everyone hopefully you all have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next gta online video adios amigos